hello and welcome back question 2b okay the question says that calculate the power in four ohm resistor mathematically solution mathematically power is equals to i square r meaning for four ohm resistor i need to know the current in four ohm resistor solving for the four solving for the current in four ohm resistor using Tefinish theorem step one short circuit the load resistor question what is the load resistor the load resistor is the four ohm resistor why because it is the resistor you are looking for the current okay by short circuiting meaning disconnecting the four ohm resistor disconnecting the four ohm resistor This is C, this is D, this is 40 volts, 5 ohms, 6 ohms, 4 ohms. Alright, step 1, short circuit the 4 ohm register. We've short circuited the 4 ohm register, meaning 4 ohm register has been disconnected from this circuit. Okay, let's consider this circuit. This is loop 1, this is loop 2. Initially, we have loop 1 and loop 2. Meaning, for this loop 1, the current will flow through it, right? Loop 2, current will also flow through it. But observe, we've disconnected 4 ohm resistor. Meaning, there's nothing like loop 1 and loop 2. Why? Because 4 ohm resistor has been short circuited. Hence, this circuit is considered as a O, meaning one circuit. So therefore, we have this circuit. Let's say the current flowing through circuit, called this I. Meaning that I is flowing through 5 ohm resistor and I is flowing through 6 ohm resistor. And under Tefini's theorem, by formula, I Tefini is equals to E divided by R Tefini plus R. For parallel circuit, the voltage are equal, meaning voltage at branch AB is equal to voltage at branch CD and is also equal to the voltage at branch EF, that is VAB is equal to VCD and is equal to VEF. So now to get the value of the voltage of the load resistor which is VCD and we've said that call this equation 1 and from equation 1 we have this meaning voltage of branch AB is equal to voltage of branch CD similarly voltage of branch EF is equal to voltage of branch CD if I know the value of voltage of branch AB automatically I already know the value of voltage at branch CD, which is the voltage of the load resistor. Likewise, the voltage of the EF. If I know the value, automatically, I know the voltage of branch CD, which is the voltage of the load resistor. Okay? The question is, how do we then calculate VAB and VEF? Here is how it works. From Ohm's law, from Ohm's law, V is equals to I R. Call this equation two. From equation two, you have that I is equals to V over R. Call this equation three. Applying equation three to this loop, to this circuit. Let's get the value of the current flowing through this circuit. Let's get the value of the current flowing through this circuit. Applying equation three, meaning that I is equals to What's the value of the voltage? That's 40. The resistor, 6 plus 5. That's 40 divided by 11, which is equal to 3.636 ampere. All right. 
Meaning, the value of current flowing through this circuit is 3.63 ampere. That is, the value of current flowing through 5 ohm resistor is 3.63 ampere. The value of current flowing through 6 ohm resistor is 3.636 ampere. Now, let's get the voltage of the let's get the voltage flowing through 6 ohm resistor, meaning the voltage across branch AB. And let's get the voltage of 5 ohm resistor so as to obtain the net voltage flowing through branch EF, which should then be which should be equal to the voltage in branch C D, meaning the load resistor. Okay, from here, so for voltage of 6 ohm resistor, which is equal to the voltage of branch AB. Applying equation 2, voltage means current times resistor. What is the current? We've calculated the value of current to be 3.636, meaning that 3.636 times 6 ohms. And this is equals to 21, and this is equals to 21.82 volts. Right? Let's calculate the value of voltage present in let's calculate the value of voltage present in 5 ohm resistor. As we know, applying equation 2, V is equals to IR. The current flow in 5 ohm resistor is 3.636 ampere, meaning 3.636 times all the resistor, that's 5. And this is equals to 18.18 .18 volts. So therefore, we join this circuit in terms of voltage. In terms of voltage, Branch EF initially for branch AB we have 6 ohm resistor. What is the voltage of this 6 ohm resistor? We've calculated it. We got 21.82 volts. 21.82 volts. Therefore, branch CD has been disconnected, which is the unknown we are looking for. For branch EF, initially we have 40 volts given from the question, and the new value of voltage obtained. 18 point 18 point 18 volts right applying equation one equation one says that the voltage in branch ab must be equal to the voltage in branch cd must be equal to the voltage in branch ef right let's confirm meaning 20 okay solving for branch EF, sorry for branch EF, 40 minus 18.18, 40 minus 18.18, 21.82 volts. So, therefore, voltage across branch AB is equal to the voltage across branch EF, which is equal to the voltage across branch CD. And this gives us 21.82 volts. S, the E, which is the voltage of the load resistor, 4 ohms, is calculated to be 21.82 volts. Then we are done solving for this. Now, step 2. Solve for the equivalent resistance, meaning RTH. When it comes to equivalent resistance, what you need to do, come back to this circuit. After short circuiting, come back to this circuit. Identify how many resistors do you have. You have 6 ohm resistor and you have 5 ohm resistor. Ask, are they connected? Ask yourself, are they connected in series or parallel? They are connected in parallel. Yes, they are connected in parallel. Meaning, calculate the net resistance by drawing the diagram from here. Calculating RTH. RTH simply means for, for parallel connection, RTH simply means the product of the two resistors divided by the sum of the two resistors, meaning product of 6 and 5 divided by the sum, 6 plus 5. And this is 30 divided by 11, which is equal to 2.727 ohms. Meaning that for this circuit, you've also calculated RTH. So therefore, 
the value of E is equal to 21.82 volts. The value of RTH is equal to 2.72 2 ohms. And the load resistor, which is the value, which is the resistor, we are calculating the current. And that's 4 ohms. Right? Substituting this respective Subtitling this respective value into Tefini's formula, first draw your Tefini equivalent circuit. Meaning, Tefini Tefini diagram, Tefini circuit diagram, Tefini circuit diagram. You have this. This is your RTH and the value was calculated to be 2.72 ohms this is your load resistor 4 ohms this is your source voltage 21.82 volts 21.82 volts and this is your high definition solving STH using this formula that's E divided by RTH plus R it implies that I Tefini, which is the current of 4 ohm resistor, is equal to 21.82 divided by 2.727 plus 4. And this is equal to 21.82 divided by 6. Point, divided by 6.727. 3.24 amperes. All right, that's the value of I Tefini. But the question wants us to find the power, not the current. And we've stated earlier, or we call that power is equals to I square R, meaning that power is equals to I square R. What is the what is the value of I? We've calculated I using Tefini's theorem, which is three point two four. So therefore, power is equals to 3.24 square times what is the resistor? That's four, and this gives me 41.99 watts.